we're going to be talking about the five best books to read in 2020. If you haven't read one of these books, I promise it's going to be a game changer for you. Now, yes, some of these you might have heard them. Don't look. Don't cheat, guys. No cheating, no peeking, no posting in the comments a list of all the books so you don't have to watch the video. And before I rant about that, guys, I'm so freaking excited to share with you. I'm going to give you one sneak peek and then we're going to get into this video. Right there. That's all you get may or may not be doing a series for you called Fastback Freedom Friday, where you and me are driving around in my uh, 65 Fastback. Can't wait. Just talking about freedom, earning your freedom. Before I get down that rabbit hole, let me take a seat. Ba-boom. Way of the Superior Man. This is by David Dieta. I love this book. The big idea from it and why I love it and why it's a life changer for you if you haven't read it, talks about one concept called polarity, sometimes known as dualism, that everything has a night and a day, an up and a down east and a west. And regardless of gender or sexual preference, we have masculine and feminine energies, okay? The masculine energy, and you all have it, um, is to go out, to achieve, to be more, be productive, like laser targeted focus. And there's a feminine energy, which is more like be in the moment, be present, give, relationships, nurturing, all that stuff. And that's balanced. So you need to balance it in yourself first, right? You need the masculine, like for example, in my early 20s, probably like 18 to 25, man, I was full-blown masculine energy, just like achieve, grind, hustle, those kind of words. What do you think about when you think of the word grind and hustle? To grind something is literally grind it into like a salt shaker, into a granular form. Do you wanna grind yourself? That doesn't sound like the best way to go about life. So now that I've embraced this almost feminine energy approach, focused more on relationships and spirituality even, emotional fulfillment, man, I have a new sense of energy and really feel my life not outwardly is changing because that's like in a masculine approach, right? Where you get the car, the house, the bank account. Internally, I feel like my life is changing. Where you wake up not as stressed, not as anxious about things. That you can ease into things and have a similar result. So that is Way of the Superior Man. Love that book. That's the fifth one. Let's talk about getting rich. You want to talk about getting rich? I will teach you to be rich. I won't, but this guy will. Bada bing, bada boom, Ramit Sadi. Both editions right here, so you can tell. This is a good book, guys. I will teach you to be rich. I read this book on my first US tour in like 2017. I would wake up every morning at 5 a.m., go to the back of our tour bus, going through like Iowa or Nebraska or something, right? There's a lot to do out there. And so I was reading this in the back of the tour bus and the guys in my band would come back like, oh yeah, you're gonna get rich with that book? Hey, teach me how to be rich. Maybe you're someone right now who's a little overwhelmed with finances. You ever think about that? Like, oh man, I should be saving money. I should be investing. I should know more about this or, ah, but I'll, I'll put it off. I'll put it off till I have more money till, you know, I have a better job. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're the exact person that needs this book and needs to get started today. Cause the sooner you put off finances, the less money you're gonna have and actually the more stress it will be. Ignorance is not bliss with money. It straight up is not. That's one huge lesson I learned in my 20s. Look, I was in a similar spot maybe you're at. I don't know where you're at, but I can imagine if you're someone who's making under 60K a year and you got bills you, get, you gotta pay for and stuff. I was like, you know what? I'll start saving once I make a lot of money. Then I'll have more money to play with. Or I'll start looking at my money once I know more about it. But the sooner you start, you invest in compounding and your money starts working for you, like the rich get richer. That's why that 1% keeps growing, 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 growing like this. To a much less extent, that's how your finances work personally with you. You can't outsource the number one thing in your life, which is finances. I mean, you can't eat if you can't pay uh, to go get groceries. Don't outsource the most important thing, which is finances, guys. Master it yourself. I love this book for beginners. People have no clue. There's very tactical things in here. Embrace it. It's not as scary as you think. Even if you know nothing, this is a great beginner book, a great just stepping stone to mastering one of the most important areas of your life. Important from the Midwest, Nebraska. All right, next book, drum roll. We got Expert Secrets, baby Russell Brunson. Love this guy. This guy changed my life in marketing, okay? And if you're someone who wants to build a business for themselves, you're someone who works with other people, maybe one-on-one -on -one in a coaching scenario, or maybe even brick and mortar locally, you're a personal trainer, whatever, you're an expert. If you're in a teaching role, which a lot of you are watching this, you can't afford to not get this book and it's free. 
I'll link it down below. You pay seven bucks to have it shipped to you. It's all about your voice and your message needs to get out there and it needs to be heard. If you hold back what you have to say, your gifts, you're doing other people a disservice. Think about all the people you could benefit if you just knew how to speak better, if you just knew how to articulate your thoughts better. This book teaches you how. One of the biggest ideas I got from it, just to give you kind of some results in advance before you read this, the best way to teach someone is to remember what it's like to not be an expert, right? Let's just take personal development. A lot of you watching right now, you probably watch Tony Robbins, you know, you read self-development books. If you're watching this video, you read, read a lot of books. You ever gone and tried to explain like a self-development idea to someone who didn't read it and they looked at you like you were crazy or drinking the Kool-Aid or the ayahuasca and you're just like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever, dude, 65,000 thoughts a day in a vision board. Cool. They like nutcase. We're speaking to them from this mountain of being an expert where you know everything already. You got to speak to them. Remember what it's like to not be an expert. Just like that book, I will teach you to be rich. The reason I love that book is because he talks to you like you're not an expert on finances. So you can absorb it. But what if he's like, hey, I'm rich. You want to know what I did to get rich? Here's exactly how cool I am. And then he goes into index funds and Roth IRAs from the get-go and how to raise a credit score. I mean, he's lost the whole audience. Or in health and wellness. A lot of people don't know that they need to eat less calories, drink water, go to bed on time, and move three to four times a week. They just don't. Or they do, but they're not doing it. And that stuff helps them a lot. But a lot of fitness trainers, well, they want to talk about the fun stuff, the expert stuff, the gluconeogenesis, the thermodynamics, you know, intermittent fasting and cold showers to lose a pound. That's important. But if you want to reach the masses, expert secrets, the secret is to go back to when you were a beginner and teach and speak at that fifth grade level from there. I could ramble all day on that book. I love it. Let's talk about the next book. Ooh, this one's good. I tried to throw a couple in here you may or may not have, have heard of, but we've reviewed them all on this channel. So I'll link up the book summaries for each one of these below. Happiness Hypothesis. Read this book in 2016. Fantastic book. So Jonathan Haidt, he's a professor and he answers the question, what makes people happy? Because we got to know what makes people happy so we can replicate it just like anything. So he looks at a lot of ancient principles like the Four Noble Truths, for instance, in Buddhism. And how do we apply that in a modern world? It talks all about mastering your mind and your body, which your body is like this giant, you know, five ton elephant. And your mind is the rider on top who's trying to steer this elephant. So your body wants one thing, go this way. But your mind's like, whoa, 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 buddy, let's go this way. And if those two are in coherence, you're going to have some issues. Just like if you had a guy who was drunk on an elephant trying to steer the thing, the elephant would just take over and, and a lot of people live their life that way. Drunk on elephants. Last book. I was going to give you Unlimited Power and Tony Robbins. Got a shout out to him. But I want to give you something better. One second. Your journal. There's your daily dose of cringe, guys. Your freaking journal, man. Come on. I mean, look at all those books. You can read them till you're blue in the face. But if you don't have a place to apply them, to study them, to go back, to reflect... What's the point? It's like having the best diet in the world without exercise. You need both to get results. You can have all the best books in the world, but I'm telling you, if you want to change your life, 2020, 2021, whenever you're watching this, your journal is the place. Now we have the journal series. We talk about this once a week. Journal Wednesdays on here. I'll link that below as well. Imagine just having a book every year that you swap out, like this is my 2019, and you go through and you get your biggest insights just right in here. Not what someone else says in a book, but what you say. It's how you coach yourself. I love that. Coach yourself. Write the best book you've ever read because you're writing it. This is it right here. If you want to take it to the next level, you can check out our My Best Journal course. Thousands of people have gone through it. We have raving testimonials from people. It's just a course where I teach you how to journal things that have worked for others, things that have worked for myself. I go really raw. I flip through my own journals in there if you're interested. And okay, what are these insights? All there below. Post in the comments right now. What is your one recommendation, okay, for a new book down below. I'm curious. Post in the comments your one recommendation for 2020. What book should I read? What book should others read? What book did you read that changed your life completely? Post in the comments right now. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Excited for that Fastback Friday, man. It's going to be loud. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a little retro. Think Stranger Things, but uh, in a modern time. Anyway, Love each and every one of you. Thank you. Till next time. Stop settling. Start living. See you tomorrow.